Yeah, no framing, no trusses up there in the roof. So how are we gonna hold those panels up? Well, you love the look, right? You love that open vaulted ceiling. And this is what this provides. This is, this is one of the beauties of an intercept zip roof system. Generally speaking, we're gonna hold our roof up with a ridge beam. It's gonna be built into a pocket right into the wall. The ridge beam comes across. Now in this, in this particular sample here, this, we have an LVL. Usually this is gonna be an architectural grade glue lamp. It's really a beautiful beam. You can put a clear coat on it or you can stain it and it's a beautiful beam and it goes from gable end to gable end and the panels are designed to span from the ridge down to the eave and they're connected to the ridge beam, to the eaves and to the gable ends. Now that's the most common way that an intercept roof goes on. There's also some other options. One is a timber frame. If we're going over a timber frame, we might not use this connecting post system. This is how our panels generally look, is we have this insulated eye joist on one side and then a pocket built into the other, and those panels go together and are, are connected to each other that way. But we might go to an OSB spline system if we're going over a timber frame where the entire uh, skeleton of the house is already there for you and we're just insulating it and covering it. The other option is kind of a hybrid system where maybe you want to add timber trusses maybe eight feet on center. In that case, we would build pockets into the walls. Those timber trusses could set right into those pockets. And now we'd turn the panels. And rather than running from ridge to eave, we'd run the panels from truss to truss and, and, and go across this direction. And just like that, you've got this beautiful truss look in your, in your great room. And you also have a high energy efficient intercept zip roof over the top of it.